Hello, I'm Diane, and today I want to talk about The Warm Hands of Ghosts by Catherine Arden. This is a historical fantasy standalone novel that takes place during World War I, following a brother and a sister who are Freddy and Laura. The story begins with Laura. She was a war nurse, and she was injured, so she was sent home to Canada, and that is where we first meet her. Her home in Canada has been destroyed, so she's living with these three women, and one day she receives a package and it has her brother's uniform and dog tags, but no information. She hasn't heard anything else. She just received this package, which usually means that the soldier whose belongings they are has passed away in the war. However, she finds it odd that both of her brother's dog tags are in the box. Normally there would only be one and the other one would be with the body. So she reaches out to her contacts to try and get some information and eventually she finds out that her brother is missing and they're assuming that he's dead. But then she finds that odd because if he's missing, they shouldn't have his belongings. So she, through a friend of a friend, ends up getting back to Belgium to investigate. She's not really expecting to find any good news, but she just wants to know what happened to her brother. On the other half of the story, we meet up with Freddy, who his story begins a few months before Laura's, and we actually see what happened to him. So as we're seeing Laura investigate it and return to the war as it is now, we are also seeing what actually happened to Freddy as it's happening. So Freddy was trapped in a pillbox with a German soldier who is his enemy, and together they end up working together to escape the pillbox and hopefully make it somewhere safe so that they can survive. They end up depending upon one another. They're the only thing that they have at this moment, the only hope that they have of surviving. And they end up forming this very unlikely, very unusual bond. So both siblings are very much traumatized by what's happened. Understandably, they've both been at war. They've both seen and done some terrible things. Laura is returning to that place where she was home, mostly safe and removed from it. And now she's coming back and her defense has very much been to put up a wall. She has trouble opening up to the people around her. And she's really just driven by her determination to know what happened to her brother. Freddie, on the other hand, the only thing really keeping him going is this German soldier. However, Freddy is so struck by what's happened to him that he really just wants an escape. He just wants to get out of the war in whatever way he can. And he winds up finding a very unexpected and unlikely escape. However, the price it's going to cost him is very high. I really liked seeing both of these characters. They're both dealing with very difficult situations and they're both coping in very different ways. But one thing that is driving them both forward throughout each half of the story is their bond with one another as siblings. And I think that's something that's really interesting to see in a story. It's something I really enjoy seeing in a story. Laura is very much driven by needing to know what happened to her brother. And Freddie is driven by a few things. But one of the things that really pulls him through what he's going through is his love for his sister. He's very afraid of what she's going to think of him in the things that he's done, but he's also very much afraid of leaving her and letting her down in that way. Laura has a few side characters at her side that are trying to help her. They all have their own things going on as well. Never mind that she's having difficulty really attaching herself to other people because of the things that have happened. But I really liked what they all added to their story and how they all connected with her in different ways and helped her in very different ways. I liked Freddy's bond with the German soldier, Winter, and how they helped one another and were very much a driving force in each other's stories throughout this. And then there is a, another character who brings the magical elements into the story, who is a man who runs a hotel. It's very strange because it seems like this untouched place in the middle of this war, a very unexpectedly safe feeling place and he has a very large role within both of their stories as well. And I thought it was very interesting to see how these side characters move between 
the siblings at certain moments, how their stories cross paths along the way, even when they don't realize that they've crossed paths. And it was very much interesting to see everything unfold, to see how these two siblings, how Laura and Freddie are making their way through the things that they're going through. And really just everyone within this is trying to find their way to the end of the war in whatever way they can. I really liked these characters. I think they all had very interesting stories. I think they all worked very well together. There are some moments within this that felt like they were missing some context. There are some conversations that felt like there were just pieces of dialogue missing, I guess. It felt like there were details missing in certain moments, but it still felt very engaging. It didn't really remove me from the story at all. There were just some moments that felt incomplete. I did read an advanced copy of this, so I don't know how much of that will be true for the final version of this book. So that may be nothing. That just may have been the version that I read. But that's really my one complaint, is there were moments that didn't really feel like they flowed into the next as well as I think they could have. And I also thought it was interesting that the ending isn't necessarily a happy ending, but it does feel like as positive as it possibly could be given the setting and the things happening within this book. But overall, I did really enjoy this. I think it was very interesting to go on this journey with Laura and Freddie and see how they went through things, what they went through and how they coped and how things ended up turning out for everyone. I thought it was very interesting and I would recommend this. So let me know if you read this, what you thought of it. Otherwise, that's all for me today. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.